Hey guys, happy Easter Sunday. Xavier back again with another video. And it looks like I got two Houston teams to talk about. The Astros and the Rockets. First up, we're going to do a recap from this past Friday and last night's games between the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. The Astros killed it this past Friday against the Rangers. When I turned on the game, before I went live on IG for Fight Night Friday, they were up 3 to nothing. Then they scored another home run, and it was 5 to nothing. The Rangers were trying to catch up, but they came up short. The Astros win 7 to 2. They were 13 and 6. But last night it got a little ugly. I didn't get to watch the game last night because I was at work and my job doesn't have cable. I looked up to see what was the score and the Rangers were up six to nothing. The Astros were trying to catch up, but they came up short. Last night the Rangers beat them nine to four. Astros now have 13 wins and seven losses, but that's okay. They got one more game, which is on right now, in Arlington, Texas against the Rangers before they come back home tomorrow through Wednesday, taking on the Minnesota Twins. Then they take on the Cleveland Indians at home Thursday through next Sunday. Also, y'all know next thir this Thursday will be 24 years since Mob Deep released the infamous. 20 years since Roger Troutman got killed and 70 years since Lisa Lepi Lopez died in that car crash in Honduras. Then next Monday through May 2nd, the Astros are going to be in Minnesota taking on the Twins. Then during the Cinco de Mayo weekend, they're going to go up against the Angels. Then they're going to come back home and take on the Royals May 6th to May 8th. Then they got four more games at home against the Rangers May 9th to Mother's Day. So I'm not going to read the rest of the games until after their fourth game at home against the Indians next Sunday. Now we got that out the way. It's time to do a recap of last night's Game 3 of the Western Conference quarterfinals between the Houston Rockets and the Utah Jazz. As always, before I get my thoughts, we got to get to the highlights. Things got a little ugly for the Rockets in the first half. Jazz scored 30 points while the Rockets scored 28 in the first quarter. Then in the second quarter, the Jazz dominated by scoring 25 points while the Rockets scored 22. At halftime, Jazz 55, Rockets 50. But the Rockets made a hell of a comeback in the second half. They scored 24 points in the third quarter while the Jazz scored 21. After three, Jazz 78, Rockets 76. Rockets dominated again in the fourth quarter by five points, scoring 30 while the Jazz scored 25. Final score, Houston Rockets 104, Utah Jazz 101. Rockets lead three games to nothing. There's one player that I need to talk about when I give my thoughts, but first, let's see how he did last night. James Harden. He had 22 points, 4 rebounds, 10 assists. CP3 Chris Paul had 18 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. Clint Capella, 11 points, 14 rebounds, no assists. PJ Tucker, 12 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists. Eric Gordon, also 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 assist. For the bench, they get 29 points. Danwell House Jr., 
5 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Austin Rivers, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Gerald Green, 9 points, 3 rebounds, no assist. And Kenneth Fareed, 4 points, 5 rebounds, and also no assist. For the Jazz, Ricky Rubio, 10 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists. Donovan Mitchell, 34 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Ruby Goldberg, 10 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist. Jay Croder, 5 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Joe Ingles, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. And the bench gets 34 points. Royce O'Neal, 5 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. Kyle Cover, <laughs> excuse me, Kyle Cover, 8 points, 3 rebounds, no assists. Derek Favors, 13 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Raul Neto, no points, 1 rebound, no assists. Georgie's Nyang, 8 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist. You might as well leave a comment down below. Who do you think was last night's player of the game? He had 22 points, 4 rebounds, 10 assists. Before I get my actual thoughts, I need to talk about last night's player of the game. Mr. James Harden. What the fuck happened to you last night, James Harden? According to my friend Mike Henry, I left a comment saying that I predicted for the Jazz to win, but the Rockets won this one. Give me one second. I'm trying to read what was my friend Mike Henry's reply to my comment on his rant about last night's Rockets Jazz game. It says, James Harden started 0 to 15 until dunking his first field goal at the 7.735 minute mark. So James Harden did not score any field goals in the first half until he finally scored a field goal with 7 minutes and 35 seconds remaining on the clock. Really, James Harden? How can you not score a field goal? You started 0 to 15. You didn't score no field goals. Like, what the fuck? Golly. Well, you better do good tomorrow, James Harden. You better score a field goal tomorrow. Because if you don't start scoring a field goal in the first half, I'm really going to be outraged. Now my thoughts on the entire game. I predicted for the Jazz to win this one, but I can't believe that the Rockets took the cake. I thought it was going to be 2 to 1, but now the Rockets are 3 and 0 in this first quarter quarterfinals of the Western Conference Finals. 3 games down, 1 to go. I predict that the Jazz is going to win tomorrow night. And the Rockets are going to win on Wednesday. So, we'll see how tomorrow night goes. And we'll see how the Astros go today. Because right now, they're trailing by five points. Six to one. That's all right. If the Astros lose today... They can make a comeback tomorrow through Wednesday against the Minnesota Twins and Thursday through next Sunday against the e the Indians. But in the meantime, that's going to wrap up my rant about this past Friday and last night's games between the Astros and the Rangers and last night's Game 3 of the Western Conference quarterfinals between the Rockets and the Jazz. Let me know what y'all think about these games. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. 
Hit subscribe if you like the content. Click on the notification bell for the next video. And I will catch you on the next one. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Have a happy Easter Sunday. Go Houston Astros. And go Houston Rockets.